we're going to start today's show talking about a serious issue that's being reported more and more often during the pandemic, racism. It's not a new problem, but in recent weeks, spikes of incidents specifically involving or attacking Asians and Asian Americans have been reported, including right here in our local community. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg is joining us now to offer some of his perspective on this and also talk about other happenings in the city. Good morning, Mayor. Good morning, Aubrey. Good to be with you. Mayor, there have been countless attacks, some of them even violent, involving Asians and Asian Americans in Northern California. This past week, video of a Sacramento High School Spanish teacher in a Zoom class was widely shared, and it's really set off alarms for the racial slant eye gestures made in front of students. I know you've spoken out on this. Can you give us more perspective on that incident and then also talk about any actions that are being taken? Well, at 10 o'clock today, I'm going to join my colleague, Councilmember Mai Vang, uh, and other uh, members of the City Council. Uh, Councilmember Vang is introducing a very important resolution where the city is going to be on record uh, strongly condemning uh, anti-Asian uh, discrimination and violence, and uh, we are going to pass that unanimously. But the incident uh, in the North Area with the teacher is unacceptable. We will be uh, at the Mad Butcher Shop in South Sacramento where the, the owners of Chinese American descent uh, discovered a box with a dead cat uh, at their doorstep, obviously uh, it, a hate crime. And what's really disturbing is that in calendar year 2020, during the coronavirus, and in large part because of the hateful rhetoric from the former president, we have seen a dramatic increase in the number of uh, discrimination, bias incidents, hate crimes against uh, Asian Pacific Islanders in our state, in our country, and in our community. And so we, can, we have to speak out loud and clear that this is unacceptable, not in our community. Uh, we always stand up for each other, and we will do so again because all people, and in this instance, uh, our Asian Pacific Islander community uh, deserve to know that the rest of the community is not going to accept or tolerate these kinds of actions or behavior. And it's a lesson to all of us that uh, racism of all kinds lurks just below the surface. And it's our job to constantly be vigilant, to talk about it, and to say uh, it is unacceptable in all forms. And I think that's an important message that you're giving to the community. Uh, switching gears a little bit, uh, Sacramento's efforts to bring a major league soccer team to the city is now in doubt because a lead investor recently backed out of the deal. This was big news. We were all getting excited about the MLS and about this new uh, stadium coming downtown. So what's going to happen next here in Sacramento if we still want to get a major league soccer team? Well, first of all, what happened Friday was a disappointment and a setback but not a defeat because uh, it took a couple of days to sort of reflect on the disappointment, but it's now three days later and we are hard at work to bring in a lead investor to fill the one remaining missing piece of what it's gonna take to uh, have the vision that is on your screen right now. And that is Major League Soccer, an iconic stadium and a uh, another great, cultural uh, sports asset for the people of Sacramento. Um, here's the good news. We don't have to start from scratch. Over the last two years, we defined the city's contribution. We're done with all the environmental work on the stadium. We know what the, uh, what the price of the franchise is. We just need the investor. And I feel really good after a couple of days of, as I said, my phone ringing constantly from potential investors that uh, we are going to get this done. Sacramento is indomitable. We do not give up. Look what happened with the Kings. It took so many years with a lot of ups and downs with the threat of the Kings moving. Eventually we won and we built the Golden One Center and now we have an NBA franchise for the long haul. The same is gonna happen with soccer and, um, and it'll be a good and a great thing. So uh, we are uh, undaunted um, and we are moving forward. And uh, the good, other good news is we're in good stead with the Major League Soccer people in New York City because we lived up to our part of the deal and um, we move forward. 
Well, it sounds like you're pretty confident, and that, that is a great point that you bring out with that, that hard-fought fight to keep the Kings here. So hopefully, fingers crossed, um, that we will just send out the good vibes and MLS will be here to stay. Mayor Steinberg, thanks for joining us this morning. And you can stay up to date with city updates and events at engagesac.org.